Welcome to you all to another one of our special film events, continuing the series of information evenings and film nights that we held every month for a long time in the Leica Library. And now we are continuing online because of restrictions due to the virus. My name is Claudio Marcello from the Committee of FILEF, the Italian Federation of Migrant Workers, and uh, we are continuing our political activism, linking with other organizations defending human rights from indigenous people to Palestinians, refugees and protection of the environment. Following the online forum run by Amnesty in Sydney early this month to mark uh, Reconciliation Week, Filef invites you now to watch the documentary When the River Runs Dry. It's about the so-called management of the Murray Darling River system, the biggest in Australia, that crosses five states. Five states who have been arguing for years on who should get more or less water. A so-called management that is destroying the environment, is causing extinction events and is displacing First Nations communities from their traditional territory. And before we start, we want to acknowledge and show respect to the traditional owners of this continent, the First Nations people. And we pay respect to their elders, past and present, and to the young leaders that are coming up. Now, when the river runs dry, brings to us the voices of the Barkinji, the people of the river, who are becoming dispossessed and marginalized. The film shows what is happening and how we need, as a country, we need to act to bring this beautiful river system back from the brink of disaster. The evils of racism against the First Nations people have come to world attention in the last few weeks along with the Black Lives Matter movement with protests started in the United States and spread around the world after the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis on the 25th of May while in so-called police custody. In Australia, the protests are highlighting the extremely high incarceration rates and the tragedy of Aboriginal death in custody. 423 deaths from 1991. That is nearly 30 years ago when the Royal Commission into Aboriginal death in custody came out with 339 recommendations, none of which has been implemented. And if all this is the tip of the iceberg, the evils of racism against First Nations people can be seen, first of all, in the dispossession of land and water all over the continent, including, in fact, along the Murray River. Let's hear now an introduction to the film from Uncle Bruce Shillingsworth, activist in the Water for the Rivers movement from the Northwest New South Wales, where communities have been devastated by water mismanagement and by stealing of the precious water by big cotton farmers and irrigators. Uncle Bruce is interviewed by Silvia Greco from Amnesty International in Sydney. My name's Bruce Shillingsworth. I'm a Morawari budgety man. I'm from a small town called Brewarana. It's where the Darling River starts. Today I want to speak about a lot of the stuff that's happening around our environment and the world today. The racism and discrimination. If we go back 250 years in this continent of Australia, First Nation people have been living here for 80, 90,000 years plus in the world, that in, in the environment, Mother Earth sustained us for so many years. And then all of a sudden we were introduced to the, uh, the uh, early contacts 
And that created a lot of, lot of, lot of suffering for First Nation people. The landing of our settlers, the early conflicts, the wars between the early settlers and First Nation people that devastated this country. The blood that still stains the land of Australia. First Nation people were massacred right across this big continent. The fight, the war was again over land. The early settlers wanted a land to settle and the Aboriginal people just wanted their land to survive and live. So then if you fast forward to 2020 now, we live now, over those many of years, Aboriginal people have suffered. They resisted a lot of the, the persecution, still suffering from a lot of the racism and discrimination that's happening. If you look right across Australia, my grandchildren are suffering from the, the policies that affected my people thousands of years, hundreds of years ago. So how do we deal with that? How we deal with a, with a, with a system that's rooted in racism and discrimination? Myself and my children were, you know, we experienced some of this stuff through our lifetime. But if it's systematically, we need to start changing our system, the system where we live, the laws and the policy that govern us. And I believe that our government and our leaders in this country need to take heed and take listen to what First Nation people are saying. Now First Nation people and non-Indigenous people are coming together to realising that the system have failed not just us, but all people here and all people all over the world. So that's what we need to deal with. We need proper leaders. We need people in there that will make good laws, proper policies and good rules that will govern us. We now in Australia need to live together. We live in a part of history that we can make a change. And I believe that we can do it. It is time that we need to start to start working on our future direction, our future pathway. Thank you so much, Uncle Bruce, for insights into an important issue that many people are not aware of, unfortunately. You can watch When the River Runs Dry on SBS On Demand, unfortunately only until the 30th of June. So go to the SBS On Demand website and search When the River Runs Dry. Thank you.